Hi friends, today I'm going to show you how to make this Thai bow blouse. I'll be making this blouse in the extra small size. You can find the full writing pattern from extra small to three extra large at the description below. To make it, we need a lace weight yarn in white color and pink color and 2mm crochet hook First, we need to make a slip knot Then we will make 139 chains After having 139 chains I'm going to make an alternative double crochet by making a single crochet at the second stitch from our hook. Insert the hook to the first post of the single crochet. Yarn over, come out. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Continue to make double crochet in each chain until the end of the row. To make the second row, turn your work. Make an alternative double crochet to the first stitch. Double crochet to each stitch until the end of the row. At the end of the row, make a double crochet to the alternative double crochet. Repeat the pattern until you have a total of 56 rows. making a double crochet row until one stitch left from the stitch marker when there is one stitch left from the stitch marker we move the stitch marker so we will have a two stitches left Make a double crochet two stitches together. To make the second row, turn your work. Make an unrelated double crochet and a double crochet two stitches together. to each stitch until the end of the row
To make the third row, turn your work. Make an alternating double crochet to the first stitch. stitches together to the double crochet and the previous double crochet two stitches together to make the fourth row turn your work make a double crochet two stitches together Make six slip stitches. Six half double crochet. crochet in each stitch until one stitch left from the double crochet two stitches together now we make a double crochet two stitches together to the double crochet and the previous double crochet two stitches together to make row 22 Turn your work, double crochet two stitches together. crochets six half double crochets six single crochets
slip stitch in each stitch until the end of the row. After finishing row 22, fasten up. To make the left free neck, insert the hook to the very last stitch of row 56. Pull up a loop. And circle yarn. Repeat from row 1 to row 22 of right v neck. We have finished the front panel. To make the back panel, make the foundation chain and row 1, row 2, same as the front panel. Repeat row 2 until row 74. Place the stitch marker in the stitch 60 and 79. Now we will make the right Sabrina neck. Make an alternative double crochet at the first stitch. Double crochet in each stitch until 4 stitches left from the stitch marker. Work two half double crochets. Two single crochets. Remove the stitch marker and slip stitch make the second row turn your work skip the first stitch work five slip stitches work a single crochet two half double crochets Double crochet in each stitch until the end of the row. To make row 3, turn your work and work 6 slip stitches. Single crochets Six half double crochets
double crochet in each stitch until two stitches left from the second half double crochet of row 2 when there are two stitches left half double crochet single crochet slip stitch in the second half double crochet of row 2 turn your work skip one stitch make three slip stitches double crochet two stitches together Work for double crochets. Six half double crochets. Six single crochets. Slip stitch in each stitch until the end of the row. Fasten up. Leave a long tail to sew. To make the left Sabrina neck, insert the hook to the very last stitch of row 74. Pull up a loop and circle yarn. Repeat from row 1 to row 4 of right Sabrina neck. Now we will sew the front and the back panel together For more seamless look, only pick up the front loops when sewing along the body portion You will need to leave 26 rows from the top of each panel to make sleeves. After finish sewing the body, secure the yarn.
Next, you will need to serve the solder parts together. After finish sewing the solder, secure the yarn. When the sewing job is done, turn the right side out. Now we will make the armhole etching, insert the hook to the seam between two body panels. Pull up a loop and circle yarn. To make round one, make two single crochets on each double crochet row. Repeat this until the seam between two solder panels. Now reach the seam between two solder panels. Make a single crochet on the seam. Make two single crochets on each double crochet row until the end at the end slip stitch to the first stitch to make round two chain one Single crochet to the first stitch, chain 5, skip 2 stitches, single crochet to the next stitch. Repeat the pattern until two stitches left. Now 
there are two stitches left. Chain 5. Slip stitch to the first single crochet. To make the third row, chain 4. Single crochet to the chain 5 space. Chain 2 Single crochet to the chain 5 space Repeat the pattern until the last chain 5 space I will reach the last chain 5 space Chain 1 slip stitch to the chain 4 space to make row 4, chain 1, single crochet to the chain 4 space, chain 2, single crochet to the chain 2 space, repeat the pattern until the last chain 2 space. Now reach the last chain 2 space, chain 2, slip stitch to the first single crochet to make row 5 chain 5 single crochet to the chain 2 space repeat the pattern until the last chain 2 space Now we reach the last chain 2 space, chain 2, slip stitch to the chain 5 space. To make row 6, chain 1, single crochet to the chain 5 space, chain 2, single crochet to the chain 5 space. Repeat the pattern until the last chain 5 space. Now we reach the last chain 5 space, chain 2, slip stitch to the single crochet. To make row 7, chain 1, single crochet to the first single crochet. To single crochet to the chain 2 space, 1 single crochet, repeat the pattern until the last chain 2 space. At the end, slip stitch to the first single crochet, fasten off, to make the bottom edging Insert the hook to the first stitch of a body panel, pull up a loop and secure yarn. Chain 1 Single crochet in each stitch until the end.
At the end, slip stitch to the first single crochet. Repeat from row 2 to row 7 of armhole etching. After finishing row 7, fasten off. Now we will make the neck lace bow. We will need to make 119 foundation chains. After having 122 chains, insert the hook to the row 3 of left V neck. Make two single crochets around each double crochet row. Now we will make 14 single crochets around the decreasing stitch of right rasabrina neck. Then we will make 18 stitches at the center of the Sabrina neck. And 14 stitches around the decreasing stitches of the left Sabrina neck. At the right V neck, make two single crochets at each double crochet row until row 3. Now we will make 120 foundation chains. To make row 1, single crochet to the second chain from the hook. Single crochet to each chain until end. Continue to make a single crochet in each single crochet around the neck. When we meet the foundation chain single crochet on each chain until the end of the row. To make 
row 2, chain 1, turn your work, single crochet to the first single crochet, chain 5, skip 2 stitches, single crochet to the next stitch, Repeat the pattern until the end of the row. To make row 3, chain 4, turn your work, single crochet to the chain 5 space, Chain 2, single crochet to the chain 5 space, repeat the pattern until the end of the row. At the end of the row, chain 1, double crochet to the single crochet. To make row 4, chain 1, turn your work. Single crochet to the double crochet Chain 2 Single crochet to the chain 2 space Repeat the pattern until the end of the row At the end of the row, chain 2, single crochet to the chain 4 space. To make row 5, chain 5, turn your work, single crochet to the chain 2 space, chain 5, single crochet to the chain 2 space, repeat the pattern until the end of the row. At the end of the row, chain 2, double crochet to the single crochet. To make row 6, chain 1, turn your work, single crochet to the double crochet. Chain 2, single crochet to the chain 5 space. Repeat the pattern until the end of the row. To make row 7, chain 1, turn your work, single crochet to the first single crochet, single crochet, Two times on the chain 2 space, single crochet on the single crochet, repeat the pattern until the end of the row. Finishing the row, fasten off, weave in on of your ends. The blouse is finished. Thanks for watching. See you soon in the next video and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.